Stangibilisco here. A viewer has requested that I um, outline the functions of the components in some of the figures in chapter 26 of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 6th edition, the chapter on amplifiers and oscillators. So I'm going to go through figure 26-10 in that book and describe the function of each individual component in this circuit, which happens to be a receiving preamplifier for use at approximately 10 megahertz. Uh, it can be tuned to some extent either way from 10 megahertz, uh, but the center frequency is about 10 megahertz. Capacitance values are in microfarads if less than 1. For example, 0.05 microfarads here. And in picofarads if greater than 1. 200 picofarads, 10 picofarads, etc. Resistances are in ohms, 100 ohms for example, there are two of those in the whole circuit. And inductances are always in microhenries, so 2.5 microhenries here, 2.5 microhenries here. Let's go through the circuit and describe what happens as the signal encounters each component. A 10 megahertz or thereabouts signal comes into the antenna and passes through this blocking capacitor, a 10 picofarad blocking capacitor. The purpose of this blocking capacitor is to keep um, stray electrostatic charge buildup from a, taking place at the gate of this n-channel field effect transistor, which is the active component in the circuit. This inductor and capacitor right here uh, form a tuned circuit because uh, this is a variable capacitor with a maximum value of 200 picofarads and probably a toroidal powdered iron core coil in parallel which form what is known as a tank circuit um, which resonates at about 10 megahertz when this thing is near the center of its uh, tunable range. That resonance provides a high impedance for the gate circuit of the field effect transistor and also provides some selectivity to, uh, to accentuate the signal at the frequency that you want and to attenuate the signal at uh, the frequency that you frequencies that you don't want. Uh, what is it? Uh, accentuate the positive, attenuate the negative. Oh, oh, oh I'm, now I'm getting into some silliness here. This particular circuit <clears throat> um, here, this resistor and capacitor, uh, conspire to ground the. Um, did I say base here? I hope not. I meant gate. Um, this would be the source of the field effect transistor. It serves to ground the source for signal while allowing some positive voltage to exist there for proper biasing of this component, this uh, n-channel field effect transistor. At the... Uh, um, I keep forgetting the name of the... Uh, the source, the gate, and the drain for a field effect transistor. In the drain circuit, we have another tuned circuit, which should be tuned to the same frequency as the tuned circuit in the gate um, circuit of the field transistor. Uh, that provides additional resonance, but you do run the risk of this circuit breaking into oscillation when you have both of these tuned circuits like this. Uh, you have to make sure that these components are isolated well from each other physically, preferably by a shielded 
interior construction of the device. 0.05 microfarad capacitor puts the bottom end of the RF transformer in this case at ground for signal uh, and the 100 ohm resistor here provides for some further current limiting uh, so that the transistor doesn't get burned out by excessive current. The, the, pl the plus 12 volt power supply um, is just an arbitrary value in this case. It could be 9 volts, it could be 18 volts, uh, 15 volts in that general range. This component here is actually an impedance matching transformer. So the output goes to the receiver and the impedance, whatever this happens to be, probably a very high impedance, should be uh, matched to the input antenna circuit impedance of the receiver. And th this basically is where you would normally connect the antenna of the receiver except this thing provides additional sensitivity and selectivity for the receiver. You can directly ground the bottom end of this and you, you could perhaps directly connect this to the power supply provided that the filter capacitors in the power supply served to ground for signal and then get rid of this capacitor. But uh, you wouldn't generally want to do that uh, because you, are, you have no guarantee of what this power supply is actually like. Um, you, this allows the, the thing to be used with any power supply, be it a pre-manufactured power supply or a 12 volt battery for that matter, the 12 volt battery uh, in your car or truck. So those are the functions of the components. A blocking capacitor, resonant circuit here, tuned to the same frequency as the resonant circuit here, a bypass capacitor which bypasses the signal to ground at this end of the uh, inductance in the transformer, current limiting resistor, the secondary of the transformer and the primary to secondary turns ratio should be such that the impedance is matched between the output of this field effect transistor and the input or antenna circuit of the receiver. Probably 50 or 52 ohms or thereabouts whereas this would be on the order of thousands of ohms particularly when you tune it to resonance thousands or even hundreds of thousands of ohms. Probably a powdered iron core toroidal transformer. You can tell it's powdered iron because the two parallel lines here are dashed lines and uh, if you don't use a toroidal transformer for this purpose uh, <laughs> you're using the wrong animal my friend. That's the only kind uh, that you'll find in circuits like this nowadays. Uh, the field effect transistor you can uh, is a, just a very common high frequency RF field effect transistor. Uh, I use a field transistor a field effect transistor rather than a bipolar transistor here because field effect transistors tend to generate less internal noise than you know, bipolar transistors do. So it would be better for a sensitive preamplifier circuit like this. I hope that uh, addresses the needs of my particular viewer and you too. You'll find this circuit in the sixth edition figure 26-10 and probably also in a number of other editions of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, my electronics masterpiece. Pride and joy that you can find and purchase by means of Amazon.com. Stangibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.